is my second fish in the boat. The first one was pretty small. Uh, this one's only about 12 inches. Uh, got him on a white spinner. Uh, the wind was forecast at the south at 11, and it's out of the east at probably 15, 20. It's just short of white capping, so it's going to be a challenging day. It's about as much wind as I care to do by myself. My third fish, another little 12-inch dink. Caught him back here in the pads, flipping a uh, stick worm around. This little uh, green pumpkin stick worm. I just came in here to take a break. I've been paddling against the wind. I'm trying to get down to the east end and I'll just let the wind drift me back. But uh, I had to come in here and just take a little break. And uh, I saw a little bit of movement so I flipped this worm around and there he was. There's number nine in the boat. He came on the uh, little white spinner bait. And I was just about to turn around and start heading back towards the other end. Right on the edge of these weeds right here I started seeing some uh, fish blow up. So I came in here, made one cast with the spinner bait, and got that guy, and I'm going to try it again right now. Well, there's number 20 in the boat. I had just tied on that little black spinner, took the white one off because the sun's been going behind the cloud. So tied on the black, and on the second cast, number 20 is in the boat. Right now, what I'm doing is working this weed line right here, and also throwing my uh, rattle trap out deep. So uh, if somebody's working like that. <laughs> That's number 23 hooked up. And he was right on the edge of the weed line. Looks like pretty decent fish. Actually, that's my big fish of the night. <laughs> on the uh, black spinner working that uh, working that weed line down there. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just casting right along the edge of the pads there and uh, seeing who knocks. It's hard for you to see this point that I'm coming up on, but I'll show it to you here in a minute. Um, and actually the point uh, it used to be part of a road, so there's a road bed that goes across the lake. And uh, we'll get up there and I'll show you that. Alright, I started my third drift and I'm a little tighter into shore. And uh, got up there and ran into some grass. I got number 27 on. Number 27 on the rattle trap. Looks like 27 is going to be the magic number. Uh, I made this drift from uh, running out of light and have not even gotten a bump. Uh, these fish are completely shut down after uh, what was a pretty active time uh, around 5, from 5 to 6.30 was really active. Um, and I got down here where I expected to find the action and it just quit. But uh, feeling pretty good. Feeling like I've uh, accomplished what I came out to do. Uh, I, I didn't sink the boat. That was my that was my big goal. So um, the wind was really tough when I got out here, and uh, I wasn't questioning my decision to come out and fish today. But I was wondering how I was going to get back from the east end. Uh, that's two miles that way, <laughs> and uh, it took me almost three hours to get down there. So. Uh, that was a bit of work and the wind was switching and had the wind switched directions I'd have been stuck down there so it would have been quite a bit of work getting back. But all in all, fun day, 27 fish. I'll call it a wrap.